So we pretty much feel defeated to say the least. Just like any other baby, I feel like online you could do as many tutorials and watch and prepare as much as you can, but nothing compares to the real thing. <laughs> I thought I was so prepared, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not complaining. This is, we anticipated this, but just not this rough. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I just got a new puppy. Powder, can you cooperate? This is Powder. I've had her for about three weeks now and in this video, I'm gonna share all the tips, tricks, and puppy essentials that I've learned this past month that really helped me with her puppyhood. Quick disclaimer, I'm definitely not a puppy expert, but these are the things that really helped me transition into puppy motherhood over these past few weeks, and I'm really hoping that it'll help you too. The first thing you need to get is a house line. It should be relatively short, really thin and lightweight. This one's made of nylon. You want your house line to be on your puppy at all times when they're outside of their crate. It's really useful in helping get a hold of them, especially when they're so slippery and trying to run away from you. It will keep them out of trouble and keep them out of places where they shouldn't be. The second thing that I can't recommend enough is a snuggle puppy. When my friend gave this to me, I really didn't believe it would work, but this thing works wonders. So basically it opens up here, there's a little Velcro, and it comes with a heartbeat, so it will mimic your puppy's litter mates. And then you can also add a heat pack to really give them that complete experience of having someone from home with them to help them sleep comfortably and help them transition to their new environment. On top of that, I do recommend asking your breeder to rub this on their litter and the parents to get that scent. Our breeder actually ended up giving us a chunk of Powder's mom's fur, and I really think that she... I don't know, thought that this was one of her siblings and she would snuggle up with it every night and she would really just go down to sleep on it. So get a snuggle puppy. In addition to the snuggle puppy, you need to try this Spotify playlist. Let me tell you, in combination with the snuggle puppy, she could not stay awake. Whether it be the morning, middle of the night, the afternoon, in the middle of play, if you need a nap, just put this playlist on. Unfortunately, we abuse this method a little too much and now she's desensitized to it, but definitely give it a try. Make sure to get some brushes before your puppy comes home because you do want to start really early, especially with a breed like powders, to desensitize them and make sure that their grooming experience for them and for you is much more comfortable in the future. So this is the best time to get them used to it and having your brushes ready and starting early is key. You also want to pick up a treat bag. You can get these off of Amazon. You always want to have treats on your body, readily accessible so that when your puppy does something favorable and you want to positively reinforce that behavior, you have it ready. You don't have to run around the house and go grab some treats. You have it so they automatically associate that this is a behavior that you want. This antler, I don't know what company it is, but the breeder gave this to me and this will keep her busy for hours. So I highly recommend giving something like this to your puppy. It'll really help them with their teething and they enjoy it. And it'll free up your time to do things around the house or whatever you need to get done. I think the first night with Powder was probably the worst night because she was waking up every 20 minutes. She was crying, she was fussing. And I mean, who can blame her? She was uncomfortable, she didn't really know us. She just left all her siblings. So what we did was we put her crate right next to our bed. And whenever we would hear her fuss and whine, we would just put our hand on the crate and 90% of the time she would go back to sleep. If she continued to cry and bark, then we knew that she had to go potty and we'd take her out right away. So we're just gonna take her out to potty a few times tonight and um, hopefully get some sleep. Mm -hmm. When you take her potty in the middle of the night, make sure you just grab them, carry them outside and make it as transactional and boring as possible. Let them do their business, bring them back in, they're back in the crate. Don't praise them, don't reward them, don't talk to them. Try not to even make eye contact with them. You don't want them to think that now you're initiating playtime, now it's time to wake up. You just want them to know that we're gonna go to the bathroom and you go straight back to sleep. This is the baby Bissell. You've probably seen it on TikTok. We use this thing on the daily. She has had an accident in probably every spot of this house and this is perfect for spot treatments and you can fill it with pet friendly fluid to clean up the mess. Lastly, I do recommend getting puppy insurance. Of course, this is all personal preference, but for us, I really like having that safety net for her because I do notice that 
she can get into a lot of trouble and it's really nice to know that she'll be covered. For instance, she already bit the tail off of the snuggle puppy and she is on constant surveillance right now. We are monitoring her poop and making sure that we don't have to take her to the emergency vet in the next few days or so. Once she's older and a little more predictable, we're probably gonna cut off the insurance and just put a little money on the side each month in case of emergencies if she needs it. If you do decide on getting insurance for your puppy, do it as soon as possible when your puppy is still perfect, I guess. Because let's say your puppy gets a UTI, you bring them to the vet, and after that you decide to get insurance. Any other instance of UTI that your puppy gets will be considered a pre-existing condition and it won't be covered for most insurances. So it's better to bring your puppy to the vet immediately, have that clean slate, and then everything will be covered. Okay, that's it for this video. Obviously, it wasn't a comprehensive list of everything you need for your new puppy. These are just the things that I didn't really know about when I first got powder and after all my Reddit research, they really, really saved my life these past few weeks. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of Powder, Zippy, and me. And hope to see you in the next one. Bye.